Well, hello, my little Goomba Maniacs. Welcome back to Factory Outlet Simulator. What has happened while you were away? Well, I went ahead and did a couple more wholesale jobs. You can see we're up to $8,000. So recap last time. Yeah, we'll introduce you to him in a second. Uh, last time we did a uh, store expansion here, right? We also did a factory expansion. We got ourselves a second machine and we did a buttload of wholesale jobs, right? Not a buttload. We did like four, I think, total since last video including the last video and we got a lot of money uh the money is flowing nicely and our tower our archway here is coming along well who is this yeah that's our new cashier i mean he's suave look at him oh yeah he's got attitude he's got swag yep what's his name he's got, actually got a name which is imp impressive jimmy quick cash <laughs> yeah i like that bring us some cash there jimmy quick cash so I don't have to worry about this side of the business anymore. So let's go ahead and open up. It's a uh, mid afternoon. I'm gonna open that and then uh, go ahead and turn the store on. I noticed some of the other employees, we can get a security guard. I was talking about that. Yeah, we can get a factory restocker, a store restocker. What I don't know is if, okay, if I'm in here making stuff for a wholesale item and I have a restocker, is he gonna come down and take stuff out of there? I don't want him to do that, right? Yeah, we got people coming in. Yes. Where, where, what? Okay, we got some weird path thing going on. Mm-hmm, yeah. So what are we doing today? We're gonna get uh, another expansion. Um, probably another machine, so I can get three going at one time. Like have one pumping out stuff for the store and have the other two pumping out for wholesale. That makes sense to me. Maybe two and two, who knows? These are only 700 bucks a piece. So as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that now. Is there like better machines? That's what I wanna know. Spotlights, blah, 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 blah. The rest of it's all racks, okay? So this is the only machine we can buy. So let's go ahead and get one. And I think they were complaining about a fitting room before, so let's go ahead and get that too. So we spent a little bit of cash there, but that's all good. I am gonna outfit the store, trust me. What's, what's going on with the pathing? Okay, well, I don't understand what's happening on the pathing of this machine. Okay, so now we got a machine that does stuff for the store because we're going to run out really quickly. But what do we do next? Uh, how's it going, Jimmy? Oh, yeah, look at you. Look at the attitude. I love it. I absolutely love it. Do we have any thieves that try to make away with stuff? A lot of customers. I'm loving it. Everybody loves Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. And we got a fitting room. People have been complaining about this for a long time. Can we put a fitting room outside? Anywhere? And okay, it has to be within the confines of the store. Makes sense. All right, so let's go ahead and put that right here. Yeah, all right, beautiful. Too expensive. Oh, people are walking away from, ex oh, okay. Well, we were wondering whether they would finally get wise to it. And it appears that's what they're doing. We're level 14, Jimmy, just doing his job. Jimmy, love you, babe. Uh, you can go home, we're done for the day. Okay, so closing the store up, boom. Are you just gonna sit here at night? <laughs> just dancing around? Okay, you got the music in your head, son. I love it. I like your style. Just don't steal from the cash register. I'll have to, um... Yeah, something unpleasant will happen with the family. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's, um... Yeah, let's work on some more stuff here. I still don't know what the pallet does. Uh, I'm imagining that's something, right? I don't know what it does, though. Hmm, I need to research that. Let's go ahead and get, um... Get a large shirt rack so that we can start putting more items in the store. Oh, yeah. Put that right over here. Not crazy about the path thing there, devs. <laughs> All right, what do we need to do? We need to pump out some of the customs here. I said I was going to have a custom, another custom shirt uh, in the works. Have not done yet yet, but we will. Yeah, let's pump out some customs. So go to designs, veto specialty, colored thread, colored fabric, advanced pattern paper. And we have some advanced pattern paper. That one, insufficient raw materials. I don't know, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, did I forget to buy advanced pattern paper? Ugh, silly video. What do we have now? We have five of each. I need five advanced pattern paper. Vito not paying attention. Let me get some whoop shirts here in a second. Okay, let's go ahead and get these put on the shelf. What's up, Jimmy? And I'll probably get a store restocker here. Uh, because I don't want to have to keep running back and forth doing this. I'm going to be focused on my wholesale job. Let's we'll see, the Wolf Shirts, uh, Colored Thread, Colored Fabric, Advanced Pattern Paper. So, Colored Thread, we got two. Colored Fabric, we got two. Advanced Pattern Paper, we got two. So let's pump out another three of those. Do some Wolf Shirts. Wolf Shirts. Uh, what was that? Oh! 
What? What? I didn't know that did that. Why didn't folks tell me that? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Vito just got very happy. A mosquito flying around. I don't like mosquitoes. Pointless little animals or insects or whatever they are. Okay, so we got all those. It is six o'clock in the morning. It's probably time to open up. All right, Jimmy, let's have a great day. Turn the store back on. Okay, so Jimmy's in here making us money. It's time for us to do the big money. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our next job. Uh, actually, let's look at the expansions. 8K for an expansion for the factory. 500, only 500 for an expansion of the store, which we don't really need just yet. Let's see what else we can do here. We could do licenses, right? Uh, customization, we're gonna do that soon. Uh, I don't think I wanna do that just yet. Uh, interior, we already know about all this stuff. Um, we might get another cash register, just start getting people uh, in here quicker. In and out of here quicker, I should say. Maybe buy some sale pictures, and uh, we'll start doing that in, in the coming episodes, just not yet. All right, uh, what else did I say I wanted to do? I want to see what our next... We're gonna do some design soon. Yeah, we can do some licenses again. We have a lot of license. Look at that, we have a lot that we can do. So we're gonna deck the store out in the coming episodes, just not today. I want to I want to jack that number up into the double digits at least. So yeah, and this is what I was talking about the employees, right? We have Jake Strongarm, we have a factory restocker. We have a mechanic. Do we really need that? Sorry, Sally, you're not gonna get a job here. Store restocker, right? There we go, Electra Guardian. Electra Guardian. Okay, is it Electra? <laughs> okay, uh, she's hired. Uh, 150, I will hire her soon. I might do that now. Sit figure between the two of them, that's $300 a day. That's a lot of money coming out of the till there. So, store, store restocker, store restocker. We got a bunch of those factory restocker. That's what I was talking about. Timmy Transport. Uh, Charlie Cartman, that's uh, Cartman's brother, I guess. Uh, and then we have an automation engineer. What does that do? What does Lena do for $1,000 a day? Automation engineer. Mm, I suppose it says over here. Uh, mechanic repairs broken machines. Cashier sells products before the factory. You need to buy a pan of blah, 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 blah. It does not say anything about the automation engineer does. I don't know what that person does. But let's look at the wholesale. We got a nice order here, 3.9K. Yeah, so we're gonna net, yeah, 3.3 something. This is 500 Lacosto red shirts. I don't think we have that license yet, do we? Lacosto. No, I don't. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we have red. How many did I say? 500? 500? 500 Lacosto red. Okay, let's see what the, that's gonna cost us. I don't hear any money going into the tiller. I we think we ran out of product. That's $600. Cha ching Go ahead and get some of these going. Lacosto. Lacosto. Okay, so those are going. Yeah, hopefully automation means that more can be done at, at one time instead of just sitting there. Yeah, we are flush out of stuff. All right, six o'clock at night. Close up. Go home, Jimmy. You done well. Sit there in the dark. Uh, I guess I should probably accept that uh, that job. I thought I hit deal, didn't I? Didn't I hit deal? Come on. You folks saw me. I hit deal. Lacosta Red. Boom. Yeah, this is going along swimmingly. when the machine breaks. Is that person worth money to have them sit there and just fix machines as they break? I don't think so. Not right now, anyway. Maybe later when I'm just earning so much bank that uh, it doesn't matter. But not right now. I'm hoping an automation engineer maybe fix the stuff off the machines. Maybe? I don't know. I need to know what that person does. Maybe I'll hire them for a day and see what happens. Let's get a little bit more money first. Uh, greedy Vito. Not to be confused with Greedo, who is my cat over in Pumpkin Simulator 2. <laughs> yeah. So we're at 13, which is actually 10. In case you missed my treatise on it last time. The truck counts for three slots on its own, like the wheel wells. So when it says 13, it's actually 10. Doing wonderfully. Wow, things are moving so fast, it's <laughs> hard for me to keep up right now. Maybe that's what the automation engineer does, I don't know. We're gonna find out though. Any of you kids out there wanting to be automation engineers for a living, you will find out what that means. And so will Vito at the same time. Although, I'm not... I'm 
to be an automation engineer, huh? <laughs> I'm already an engineer, I don't need to be that one. Machines are breaking. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> Going crazy so far, folks. So we got like 21 left to go. That's a lot. Woo! Okay, we stacked it full. Go ahead and start these up while we're gone. Gonna run this other stuff down to the ship. Good. Time to open the store. Jimmy, open the door, dude! Open that store, get those customers in there. Of course, we got no product, so... Except for the custom Vitos. Ugh. I'll tell you, the day that they add damage to the game, for the trucks? I'm gonna lose money. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you get on there too. Alright, that's 38. Woohoo! 12 more to go. Is it me or is that back of that pickup truck slammed? <laughs> 12, so that means we have nine. We need one more. Oh, can't do any more. Um, let's go and see exactly what we got. Let's see if we actually have 12 here. Uh, I don't know how I wound up short of raw materials, but something's going on. Okay, we got it. Boom! Yeah! Okay. That door needs to be a little wider. That's all I'm saying. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Up to twenty-eight thousand dollars daily income, almost four grand. All right, what's happened out here? We have totally sold out. What's up, Jimmy? We wow, people just love these shirts. Yes, you all want a wolf shirt? Come on, buy one. No, nobody. Yeah, I think we're gonna need a second cashier soon. I have not been watching for hamburglers. I mean, thieves. Don't see any, but that doesn't mean they haven't been here. Meantime, let's, uh... <laughs> come on. Come on. I know you can do it. Okay. Oh, it wants to. It wants to. Yes. Right there. Come on. Come on. Yeah, baby. Alright, this is going to be a test here. Can I get the next level? I believe I can. <laughs> oh, yes, I can. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. That is just sexy as it gets. All right, we're out of product again. Let's uh, get some stuff. Uh, restocker might be a good good use of money at this point. Because veto, no time to do this nonsense. Especially when we're not making that much money off of it at the moment, you know? Okay, so we're raking in some cash here. We're over nine grand. Mm, eh, maybe... Yeah. Let's hire that automation engineer. Let's see what that's all about. I can always fire them. Thousand bucks a day, though. Woof. I don't know. Uh, maybe a store restocker might be better. Yeah, Johnny Stalker. Come on in, buddy. You are hired. Uh, security guard, is that that big of a deal at the moment? I don't know. So the store restocker will only pick up the products you have placed in the store storage rack. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that means, yep, you guessed it. Probably need to go buy a store storage rack. I uh, didn't remember seeing that, but uh, 
I'm assuming there's one in here. Storage rack. There it is. Thousand bucks. Ooh, we got some... Oh! Okay, now that is nice. That is really nice. The storage rack. Thousand bucks. I'll buy it. Whatever. A lot of money, but... Wait a minute. Are you a restocker? You are dressed so dapper for a storage or for a restocking guy. All right, so let's go ahead and put this right there. Nice. And now we can start stocking stuff in here, right? So let's go ahead and close the store up. Oh, this is looking better. Jimmy, doing a great job, son. Very proud of you. But I have to turn the lights out on you. So Johnny Stalker just sits here. Uh, who is Johnny Stalker or Jimmy Quick Cash? Jimmy, he, I mean, he's my man right now. He's he is my boy. Yep, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, that swagger. I love it. Okay, so let's uh, let's get some stuff for the shelves so that Johnny can do his job, and then we'll call this a video. We'll call it very successful video. Hired our first employees, folks. Uh, let's go in here. Next time, I promise I'm gonna have new designs. Let's go into our designs again. Oh, we need some rolling cases. Man's pattern paper and rubber. We need one more rubber. Get your mind out of the gutter. Wow, nine dollars for rubber. We're down to zero. Let's, let me see what he does. Hey, Johnny. Johnny. Do you only do it when the store is open? I'm getting concerned. Johnny. Okay, now let's uh, get some more Vito specialties out there. Thread, fabric, paper. No, it's colored fabric. That, that's not colored fabric, that's white! Uh, mm, hello, that's not colored fabric. I'll take your word for it though, whatever. I notice the customs are a lot slower, so employee salaries five fifty right now. But we are making a nice amount of income. That's only three hundred eighty-two dollars. I'm lying. It was the day before we made more. Okay, so that's five of those. Place those. Beautiful. Okay, so what do we got next? Some of the wolf shirts. Thread, fabric, paper. Colored thread, colored fabric, colored paper. Hello, six o'clock in the morning. Time to get store open. Okay, let's go do that. Gotta get some licensed stuff in here too. That's on, that's on. We are open? Yeah, we are. Have a great day, Jimmy. Five already? I guess it was. Um, I don't see you restocking, Johnny. What's going on? Okay, what is going on with you? You're a store restocker, so... What did it say about store restocking? The store restocker will only pick up the products you have placed in the store storage rack and place them on the shelves in the store. Remember to purchase a store storage rack first. This way you can separate wholesale products from store products. Okay, so that answers one of my other questions was, do they take stuff that I'm using for wholesale? So, did I buy the wrong storage rack? Uh, store storage rack. Okay, my bad. All right, so let's go ahead and um, grab this, put it... Does it go in the store? No, it probably goes in here, right? And he just differentiates between the two. So we're going to go ahead and throw that here. And we're going to go ahead and take these off the shelf. Let's watch him do his job. Yep. Yeah, there he goes. Okay, so what did he do out here? You only stocked three? What's that all about? All right, is there some setting I don't know about? Okay, he's gonna stock that too, but why only three? Is that how you're gonna do your job, just three at a time? I guess, you know, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I got mixed feelings about that. Hey folks, uh, if you're feeling generous, uh, how about give me a thumbs up? Give me a thumbs up. You know, ring that bell. Yeah, that really helps me. It helps me get more viewers, and more viewers equals more fun. The more fun, the more content I put out. We're back to almost 7,000. Okay, this is working out well. There's not enough cash registers, I know. We'll hire, you know, we'll get another cash register soon. Just not yet. I need to make a little bit more money. Anyway, folks, 
This is going to do it, I think. We've had fun today. That arch is getting bigger. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's, uh, I've been able to place some of them farther back, so the angle of the arch has changed a little bit, but that's a good thing because it looks like it's going to go even higher. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to have it up there, I tell you. Uh, probably next episode, we're going to get a security guard because I just can't control the bleeding. Yeah, see, like this one right here. No. Mm hmm How'd that feel? Not too good. Maybe I'll... Oh, she's gone. Learn your lesson. So I may have lost some product here. So I need to get uh, the Electra security guard. I can't wait to see her, I hope. That's it, folks. Yeah, we had a great episode today. Next episode... We're going to work on expansion. We need to make this place bigger. We can get some more machines in here. And we may hire the automation engineer. Not sure yet. Thousand bucks a day. I think I can make more than that if I just focus on wholesale only. But I really want to see what she does. Yeah. So, anyway, folks, as always, you stay safe. Well, you know it. No one's using the fitting rooms. You folks complained about this constantly, and I see no one in there. And I'm not being a creep looking as he goes into the fitting rooms. All right. See you next time.